um, after I made my <clears throat> puffy hearts and did the swirl and got it perfect and everything, everybody's been asking me to make a video. So I'm going to do four of them real quick. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pour in part of my resin here. My cat least loves to leave me behind little surprises. And that would be her hair. Drives me nuts. So I'm going to fill them until they get up around the rim because you don't want to fill them after the fact because that will mess up your... I just clean these molds for goodness sakes. So basically that's what I do is I pour my resin in. It's been sitting for a little bit. Um, probably 10 minutes maybe. And so then it's kind of along the same lines as your bloom. And then I drop my inks and I'm using in this one I'm using the Let's Resin Sugar Light. I guess that's what it's called. And then I'm going to use Lemon Yellow. This one's almost gone. I don't want to open my new one until this one's gone. And I make sure I put a couple up there in that. And then I let those set. Move on to my next one. I've already shaken all of these before I started. This one I'm using yellow green. And azure blue. And then the next one, I am using Cerulean. And Peach Red. Peach Red always stains the mold, so I'm going to stay on the same side as what I've used it in before. Now the peach red, I don't know why, but it just does not spread that great. It's kind of odd. And then in my last one, and you're going to think this is odd, but it actually turns out really well. I'm going to use brown. models clean because otherwise they cake up and 
yellow. have to get my other one. One momento. As these, especially yellow, as it sits for a while, it gets a little darker. never get away with sticking not sticking my hands and then I just take my little tool here if I've got gaps and I try to just maneuver that color around a little bit so that I don't have big gaps if I have any especially with this peach red it just for some reason doesn't flow as well I know you're thinking, well, doesn't the white usually do that? Well, sometimes and sometimes not. All right, so now we're going to drop our whites, and I don't put as many dots as what I put color. I just put enough on the surface to cover. They say that you're supposed to use one drop for every color that you use, but I found that that ends up being too much, and I it just doesn't work, just makes it too much. So I just put enough drops to cover the surface because it's going to spread anyway. As soon as you drop that on there, it just goes to town. You see all those colors just going nuts? And then if I go back and I see a spot, then I'll add another. Like here, there's some dark. But I don't I don't like to add too many more if if the colors are merging quite well, then that's what I leave it at. And of course, you know, red and red and blue make purple, so this one's gonna be And then I just look at it, sit back and look at it and see what else I want to merge and then I leave it. I will go in if there's a blank spot and use my little tool here and fill that in. Wipe off your thing every time. Don't see any there. I do see some here. see any on that one and then I let them sit for 45 minutes and then I come back in 45 minutes and I swirl so we shall see you in 45 minutes 
Okay, it's been 45 minutes and we're going to swirl. Well, actually, to tell whether it's been the right time is, let me bring you in a little closer here. Make sure you're not blurry. Hold on a second. I'm blind, I gotta get my glasses. Make sure you're in focus. So basically, to test to see if you're um, able to stir or to swirl is you take your pin and you touch the resin and if it comes up and sticks, then it's ready to stir. So, and it's sticky. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a swirl. So you don't go all the way in, you just take your thing and I just go around. do a little swirl and then I come straight out and since I'm doing different ones you wipe your little tool off before you move on to the next one same thing here and keep going in circle And there's no rush. Wipe your stick and then go to the next one. And as I get to the center, I closer to the center, I pull my stick out the closer I come to the center because then you're not dragging as much resin out with you when you come. So when I go in, as you can see, I'm going to go in about that far. Drag. Leave it in there about that depth until I get to about right here and then I start to pull it out a little bit and then keep it at that depth and then when I get to the center and then just swirl it and you're done. And that's all it takes. And now these are going to sit and cure and tomorrow I'll come back and we'll demold them. They might need a top off because I didn't fill them up all the way so I might put a little Dang hair in there. Take my glove off. Uh, because they're not completely full. Because I didn't want to overfill them when I was doing putting all that resin in there. Or I mean, all that color in there. So um, I might put a clear coat on them here in a little bit. And once they get real, 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 real tacky. And then tomorrow I'll come back after they're all solid. And we'll take a look and see how they turned out. Okay. 
All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, guys, it's time to reveal the puffy hearts with the swirl. So yesterday I did these. So let's see how they turned out. Get them all out here first. And remember, I used four different or two different colors in each one. So we'll go with the uh, azure blue and the peach red first. So this is that swirl. Pretty cool. This one is the sugar light red and the yellow. Very pretty. And this one was the azure blue and the light yellow green, I think it was. And this one was the brown and yellow. So, very nice. So that's my technique for the swirls. Very easy, very simple. It only took me like forever, you know, to master that. But I'm finally happy that I got that figured out thanks to Daniel Cooper. Hi Daniel. So yeah, there you go. There you have it. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.